this tutorial is about making change and uh, I'm from Canada so I'm using our money system of course if you're from a different country uh, it might look similar or it might be very different uh, these are all the coins and bills that make up Canada's money system up to the $50 bill and I've included a couple things that we no longer have you might see them at some point uh, the uh, $1 and $2 bills were, were replaced by the loony and the toony and uh, the penny, uh, the one cent, uh, we don't have any more as well. So uh, we can get rid of those. I just re I included those as a bit of a historical note. So this is basically what we have to work with. And of course, there there is a $100 bill as well. Uh, so we, we won't worry about that in, in this tutorial. And so flipping over to the first of three examples, uh, the word tendered is often used to represent the amount of money a customer gives a cashier when paying for goods. So the amount tendered is the uh, amount of cash that they're giving you. Now this is going to vary a little bit if you're um, if you're working in an electronic system. If the customer is paying with a debit card, you don't worry about have to worry about counting change at all or giving them change. So that's not what this tutorial is about. This is just about cash sales. So in the first example here, it says you're working at a grocery store. Customer arrives at your till with $46.21 worth of goods and of course you would enter all the different goods and, and the, if the, the cash register would tell you that is $46.21. The customer hands you two $20 bills and a $10 bill. Now of course two $20 bills wouldn't quite be enough because that would only be $40 so that's why they've given you the $10 bill as well. Uh, so A asks what amount is tendered in the cash register? So the amount tendered would be $50. Uh, B asks, what amount of change should the customer be given? So the amount recorded in the cash register must be rounded to the nearest five cents. So the $46.21 would be rounded down to $46.20. So if the person's paying cash, uh, there are no pennies anymore, so we round to the nearest uh, five cents. So 46.20 is actually how much they're being charged, even though the bill was $46.21. So if you take a calculator, or the cash register will do this for you, and the, uh, the customer tendered $50, so we subtract the 46.20 from that, and we get $3.8, which is $3.80. So that's how much change the customer should be given. Now the cash register will not tell the cashier what coins or dollars to give back to the customer. So you have to count that out yourself. So the amount of change is $3.80. So um, the way we do this is, or one way to do this, is $3.80 is going to be given back to them. And I'm going to do this in a, in a different way, how to count change in the uh, next examples. So we want, want to make $3.80. So I'll start with a toonie. Of course, if I went to two toonies, it's too much because that would be $4. And then I'll add another a loony. So that's going to make uh, uh, $3 altogether. 2 plus 1 is $3. Now I want to make the $0.80. Cents. So the $0.80, cents, I'll need three quarters to make 75 so that's three dollars and 75 cents now and I need another nickel to get up to 380 so the coins given back to the customer would be a toonie a loonie three quarters and a nickel that will make three dollars and eighty cents now in the next two examples I'm going to do more what's called counting change so in example two I work in a grocery store customer arrives at your till with $13.38 worth of goods and they hand you a $20 bill. Uh, now the power is out so you have to keep track of sales manually and make change without the use of a cash register. So A asks what amount do you record for the sale? So again it has to be rounded to the nearest five cents so $13.38 it's closest to $13.40. Now if you're not sure how to do that I'm gonna bring my calculator over here so, uh, you know, is it closest to 1330, sorry, 1340 or 1335? That's the five cents above this five cents below. So if we go $13.40 and subtract 1338, so that's a difference of two cents. If I went $13 and 38 minus 13. 
35. So you see it's 3 cents from that. So it's closer to, the 1338 is closer to the 1340. It's only 2 cents away from that, but it's 3 cents away from the 1335. So that's why we would round it up to 1340. Now, uh, B asks, what change should be given back to the customer? So this is how you actually, it's called counting change. So we start with the 1340 and we're going to count coins and bills till you get up to the $20 that the customer gave you. So you start with the lowest possible coin that you have. And so I would think, okay, 1340, uh, I want next to get to 1350. Uh, you want to go up to, uh, uh, well, uh, 50 cents and then like a dollar, that kind of thing. So I'm going to add 10 cents to the 1340, and of course that's a dime. Now you could add two nickels, um, and so you see that's my 1340. I've added 10 cents to get the 1350. So if you didn't have a dime, you could give them two nickels. Uh, that would be 10 cents as well. So I'm at 1350 now, so I would think, okay, I'm at uh, multiples of 25, because 50 is a multiple of 25. And so if you add 50 cents now, which of course is two quarters, if you, so we're going to add 50 cents to the 1350, uh, that gets you to $14 even. So now we're at whole dollars. So what do I add in, we're in terms of toonies and loonies? Well, I would think, okay, so 14 is only one from 15. So if I add a dollar, a loony, then uh, my 14 uh, plus one dollar is 15. Now again, I'm trying to get to 20. So I would think, okay, well now uh, I'm at 15. I need to get to 20. So I'm going to add a five dollar bill. So adding a five dollar bill, if we add to the 15, five dollars, we get to 20. And so that's that's how you take uh, what the person is being charged and add coins to get up to the final 20 dollars. So they get their their charge was 1340, and then this is the change that you give back to them. So you give them a five, a loony, two quarters, and a dime, and that amount of change, of course, with what they're charged, adds up to the twenty dollars that they gave you. So that's how you count change. We're gonna take a look at one more example on the next page. Example number three: You are shopping at a clothing store. Your purchases total one hundred and twelve dollars and eight cents. You hand the cashier three $50 bills. Uh, the question is, what change should you expect and in what coins or denominations of bills? So the sale would be recorded as $112.10. The uh, eight cents is closer to 10 than it is to five. It's only two cents from 10, but it's, it's three cents from rounding down to five. So that's why we round it to $112.10. And of course, if this was being done electronically, you used a, a credit card or a debit card, then you'd be paying exactly $112.08. So, so we start at the uh, $112.10, and I would first add five cents or a nickel. And so if you take a $112.10 and add five cents, you get down up to $112.15. So I'd be thinking next, uh, I want to get up to uh, so where I can add quarters. So, you see, uh, this is 15 isn't a multiple of 25, which is quarters. Quarters worth 25 cents. So if I add 10 cents or a dime, then I'll add 10 cents to this. So my 112.15 plus 10 cents is 112.25. So see, 25 is a multiple of 25. So I can now add quarters to get to the next dollar. So if you add 75 cents or three quarters, so we're going to add 75 cents to the 112.25, that gets you to $113. So we're now at an even dollar figure. So I would now next think, okay, well, what, see the lowest bill is a, is a $5 bill. Uh, so what fives or tens or twenties do I need? Well, if you take the uh, 113 and add two, which is $2, which is a toonie, and if you didn't have toonies, you could use two loonies. So here's my 113, and I add the toonie, the $2, to get to 115. So now I'm at a multiple of 5 for dollars. So if I take that 115 and add $5, a $5 bill, 115 plus 5 is 120, so I'm at $120 now. Now remember, um, 350s is $150, so we're trying to count to $150. So I would next add a 10. 
Okay, so if I take 120 and add 10, we get to 130, and see that's only $20 from 150. So the last thing I would do is add in 20, my $20 bill, and so 130 plus 20 makes 150. So that adds up to 150. So the this was what the customer was charged, or you were charged, and this is the change that you'll get back. You'll get a nickel, a dime, three quarters, a toonie, a five a dollar bill, a ten dollar bill, a twenty dollar bill. So that's again how you can count change. Always start with the lowest denomination to get up to, so you can add now dimes or quarters or then toonies, loonies, etc. And that's the end of the tutorial.